In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my favorite SEO tools. It's called SE Ranking. It's a tool that I found recently. This tool has a huge number of features, some really powerful tools. It's really easy to use. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction to the platform, to the tool. I will do some future videos where I break down each of the individual segments, because as you'll see, there is a huge amount to this tool. So it's gonna to need a number of videos, but this one is a first look, if you like, around the platform. And I'm gonna explore one of the main functions, which is the function I used when I first started using this platform, which is a report um, that gives you kind of an update on how your website is performing. It also has this really cool feature where it gives you predictions, it finds things on your website and then guides you as to how you can actually fix them. So let's dive in, it's a really interesting uh, tool. So if we go to projects, which is where you will land when you first come into um, SE ranking, be able to add your website. And then what you can do is of course, you can analyze your traffic over a week, month, you know, three months. Um, you can do a traffic forecast, which I think is really cool. So based on all the data, it's going to estimate what's going to happen with your traffic going forward. There's obviously search visibility um, and percentage in top 10. So I like this quick breakdown of like how many pages do you have in the top five, top 10, top 30, right? It's really nice, this little section here, just to kind of see how, you know, you're performing overall. Um, there's also, you know, referring domains, backlinks, and website audit. So it's a nice place to come and just have a look and see what's going on with your website. Um, it then also has, you know, of course, as you'd expect, rankings, analytics, competitors, um, and then insights. Insights is the section that I find really useful in SE ranking. So for example, it highlights keywords and pages where there are some easy to improve positions, right? So, you know, at the moment, let's take book reviews examples. It's saying, okay, you're position 10 for this one, um, but actually there's some easy to improve things that you could do that's going to push blog posts further up and get you more traffic from it. And um, likewise, it breaks down keyword cannibalization. So ones where there is an issue, right? So um, it's detected five keywords where there may be a problem with cannibalization. Um, and what I like about this so much is a lot of these tools that you use, they give you all this information, but SE ranking actually gives you step by step things you can do. So it's saying, okay, go and do this, that's gonna improve something, right? Go and do this, that's gonna improve something. So for, if you're a beginner to SEO, this is incredibly useful, right? Because it's basically guiding you through um, what to do. <clears throat> And then you have, you know, pages with poor quality content, right? So it's detected 20 pages on this website with content, you know, that's lower than the average value of competitors in the top 10. So it's saying, hey, the other people that are ranking top 10, um, their content is higher. Here is how you can improve it so that you can also get into the top 10 for this um, content. And then, so I need to give it access to my search console and then it will get you know even more in terms of uh, data. You can see even more data that I'll be able to do. So that would be the next thing that I would do. What I also like is that it has this marketing plan. So again, a place where you can break down your SEO to-do list, right? And so you can see how you're getting along with your plan, right? So you can add new tasks and you can work through this step by step. Um, so again, the thing I mentioned before about this tool when it comes to your SEO is it's guiding you through, right? Because SEO can seem like this huge topic and so much to it. So this just helps narrow your focus and you can work on the things that are going to, you know, move the needle the most for your business. As you'd expect as well, it has things such as a website audit tool. So you've got this health score um, and it's gonna show you the top issues, right? That you can go ahead and deal with and you can fix and improve, um, you know, page indexing, all these other items. So again, really powerful for just figuring out what to do, you know, as you want to improve it. There's all the usual functions you would expect around research, competitive research, and paid traffic research, keyword research, you know, keyword manager, it goes on and on. 
search volume checker there's a section to look at your backlinks a report and all of that you can do an audit of everything you've got this content marketing section uh, with a content editor content idea finder you know it really is just all encompassing everything um, that you could want from this type of tool um, it even has a local marketing section um, like i said i'll dig more into each of these sections in future videos but the final bit that i wanted to show you in this particular video is this report builder so you can go in here and create a report um, it also schedules the reporting so it'll just automatically run these reports reports every week, every month, you know, whatever um, you set it up, you can see the frequency that you want. And it can be an SEO report, a rankings overview, you can see everything that's included in these reports, monthly report, traffic overview, organic traffic, you know, goes on and on. Um, and I'll show you the report that got created here, right? So again, it's like a nice summary in terms of here are the keywords that are in um, search engine ranking positions. Um, so I can see the SERPs at 96%, positions that have gone up, positions that have gone down, right? Keywords in top three, top 10, top 30. And then these, you know, top five keywords that have dropped, right? So I could look in and see, okay, how can I fix this and, and you know, sort of like change this around. And it also gives me my average position breakdown. Um, and again, uh, then keywords, right? So where am I performing well for certain keywords? What keywords have jumped, what keywords have dropped? Um, so you can see them all as you go through. So that's again, a really nice quick function. I like the fact that it's just automated certain time every week. It's gonna send me that information about my the SEO of my website and how it's performing. So that is an intro to SE ranking. Like I said, I'll do some other videos where I dig deeper on the specific functions um, of, you know, this, there's a huge amount to this tool. Um, one thing for the comments down below is, is there anything specifically in SE ranking that you would like me to cover? You know, I've got a list, but please leave any comments for things you would like to know, things you'd like to know about SEO and, and how this could help you with it. And also any other SEO tools that you'd like me to review, that you'd like me to do some guides and how-to videos to as well. Thanks for watching this video about SE ranking. On this channel, I review software tools, specifically marketing tools to help you grow your business. I also do how-to guides as well. So subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.